Having complete the rear end of our ET48 2.0, it's time to move our attention across the front end with bag G, front end assembly. Bag G contains all the parts required to start off our front end assembly, so the arms and the sway bar, which is 2.1mm up front. Notice how the arms have some curvature built into them, just like the EB48 2.0, which helps with the caster as there is less need to build it into the caster block itself, keeping it stronger. We also have our aluminum A and B blocks, and as we're using some metal parts here, have your thread lock within reach too. So we'll start with the B block where we need to install our hinge pin inserts, the stock being the center dot inserts providing 10 degrees kick up which fit nicely into the block and can then be installed to the rear of the front gearbox using two 14mm button head screws. Moving across to our first arm now where we insert the 10mm droop screw on the inner center followed by a hinge pin bushing on either side allowing the hinge pin to now fall into place. Repeat with the second arm, so 10mm droop screw, hinge pin bushings, and hinge pin. We can now seat these into position into the B block hinge inserts we just installed. Moving on to the A block, insert the hinge pin inserts to either side, stock position being a single center dot, and push the A block into place, taking care to capture the hinge pins while doing so. Cover with the front bumper before securing in place with a single 14mm button head screw. So that's our front arms installed and moving nice and freely. We can now concentrate on installation of the sway bar. Just like the rear, start by inserting the two bearings into the front of the gearbox this time, before feeding the sway bar through, and then insert a sway bar screw mount onto each end and down towards the bearing with the collar end facing towards the bearing. And then insert set screws into both. Don't tighten down just yet as we may need some movement before tightening everything down into place. Onto our sway bar linkages. Insert a pivot ball into each end, one with just the ball, and one end has a small collar. Again, the Techno Shock tool comes in especially handy here. And repeat with the second linkage arm too. Insert one end of the sway bar into the pivot ball and use a set screw to secure down into position, with a little thread lock too of course, before placing the other end of the linkage into the suspension arm and securing into position by inserting a 20mm cap head screw through the arm and the pivot ball, securing it in place. Repeat the same process on the opposite side, securing the sway bar into position. All that's left is to place on a flat surface ensuring the sway bar is as centered as possible, and tighten down the two screws towards the center of the sway bar, holding it securely in place. And that's the first part of the front end assembly complete. Just like the rear, the front arms are completely free, no binding and no other issues at all. Next, we'll move on to the front CVAs and carriers, bag H. <laughs> <laughs> 